I want to be serious and talk about full fandoms and how much like it's impacted all of us to work on them and how fun it was. But just don't take my word of advice for it because you're going to hear about it later in the message. But I want you to hear from all these wonderful individuals who took time out of their day to send in these kind messages. And I really hope everyone enjoys this. Hi, uh, my name is Amy, and I have experience in both directing, editing full fan dubs as well as being part of them. As a director, it is so fulfilling to not just see the end result, but making my way to that end result, like getting to hear how everybody's interpretations of the characters sounds together is so, so much fun. Also getting to make the harmony guides for multiple projects. I've gotten to uh, have the privilege to make the harmony guides for them. And, and while they'll never be the same as the original, it's fun hearing, oh, that's that harmony. And that's why it sounds so good. I'm Haley Radiant and I just adore full fan dubs. I think it's a great way for us all to get together and just share the love of all these different projects from animated to live action to all these things from our childhoods to even to current day and just gush about them through our talents and through our amazing love of voice acting. The best thing that I like about them is the fact that it helps me branch out voices more. Like, it helps me get into different kinds of characters that I myself have never tried before or gotten used to, but it gives me an opportunity to like, well, um, try new voices, try new characters that I never thought I would be playing before. What made this, this fandom truly spectacular and very magical was to basically work with such wonderful and talented people that put a lot of heart and soul and a lot of hard work and creativity into this project. So I couldn't have done this without the help coming from these wonderful and talented people here. I look back and I think if I had never taken that leap of faith to try for that first full fandom project, I got to be in. I got the part that I auditioned for, or at least the one that I really wanted. If I hadn't taken that, I would not have met such incredible people, such amazing people that I am so lucky to get to call my friends. and. Some of them are even on my bridal party for my wedding coming. So that's just amazing to me. If it honestly wasn't for these full fandoms, I don't think I would have ever come out of my shell in terms of singing or even coming out with these different voices for these different characters. I don't think I would have ever fit at all. Um, it doesn't happen a lot, but it sometimes happens. But especially for singing, it happens a lot more than it has. And I'm very grateful for that. And I think it's really helped me come such a long way in my confidence in singing and even voice acting in general yeah yeah that's what i enjoy about these full fandom projects it gives you an opportunity to try and test your limits on voicing and all i cannot be thankful enough that i found such an amazing group of people through these silly and fun projects i do not regret one bit of getting to be in these. It, it's just been fun, and I know at some point I'll have to stop, but I don't think I'll ever fully regret getting to do this, because I got to meet amazing people, and it helped me in the confidence I needed to start voice acting better. Confidence really comes through with these full fandoms, as we've all seen throughout these amazing projects. I just, I love them so much, and I'm so happy to be a part of as many as I possibly can. They are the best things on this channel, and on YouTube. So, one of my favorite things about working on um, my full fandom of the uh, Black Butler Book of Atlantic movie was just uh, getting to play one of my favorite characters. Um, alongside some of my very good friends um, who were so kind enough to um, audition for a project that they basically knew nothing about. Um, but seeing them really get to flex their acting muscles and get out of their comfort zones and just to help me 
do something that I really was super passionate about and were just such great sports about it, like willing to do extra parts if they if they if I needed it and just like uh, doing accents that they're not comfortable with or like I don't know get, just getting to emotional places they didn't think they would get to. Uh, it, I just think it was so great to get to do that and to hear it all put together. Like It's something that I'm really, really proud of. It's been such an adventure. It's been such a ride being part of Full Fandoms. And the more I get to be a part of them, and I'm sure with every, well, everyone else in this community, the more they improve and the more they have fun with it. And yeah, that's all it is. It's not about being popular. It's not about being the best out there. It's about having fun. I'm really grateful that I got to do a lot of full fan dubs, but I think the one I'm still most attached to was Beauty and the Beast. It Not only was it my favorite movie, like Disney movie anyway, and one of my favorite characters to play, but I always said I feel like the stars aligned really well for that cast. Everyone fit their role so well. Everyone worked together so well. Everyone was just really fun to work with. One of the best things about being able to participate in these full fan dubs is seeing the culmination of everyone's hard work both the talent and the people editing the full fan dubs because when i see the results with so much passion so much creativity so much hard work into it to it to the point that they would even like recreate some sound design on it is what makes it extra special in its own right and it always makes me smile uh when we see our passions come together and seeing the great practice where we learn from our experiences. And I just, what I love most about working on projects like that is that you get to like make new friends like that project was able to um, help me do and just, you know, give back to people who I feel like need more recognition. Like that's what I love about doing big projects, is just letting smaller creators um, who may not be as like comfortable in the position get a chance to like really show what they can do and just be recognized by other people in the community and hopefully opportunities open up for them for collabs or other projects. Just because, you know, that's something that I, I wish that I had when I was first starting out. And, you know, sometimes it just takes that little boost to like, you know, really continue doing what you, you know, be like, hey, I think I really like doing this and keep moving on. So, and that's what I love about these kind of projects. And they really are a labor of love. Um, and there's something that I love, that project specifically is something I love going back to and re-watching and just being like, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> it always puts a smile on my face to see that everyone gets to be part of a full fan dub, whether they're a side role, an extra, a main role, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a big role. As long as you have fun, that's what matters. Full fan dubs are truly a treasure of the dubbing community because it shows an individual's heart and soul into a project from especially directing and sound designing, but then also this heart and soul of the individuals who are casted and they give their performances or they construct harmony guides or they put any of that together it's such an amazing work to hear and another great thing about full fandoms that i can personally take away from is being able to work with such a very talented community especially people who god they blow you away with their performances in some of these things from from singing to acting and it's truly great but there's so many good, great things to talk about full fandoms. Especially like when, even before the full fandom happens, having the community hang out and just catch up and just stoke to watch the new production, to, see, to hear themselves in it. It's, it's like a, it's like a surge of adrenaline. Like you're just, it's so much joy. One of my favorite things to do has been to collab with other people. Getting to dub with another person and like having somebody to go back and forth with and exchange dialogue with has always been like a super cool thing to me. Whenever I do the full dubs though, they always seem to like hit different for me because you know it's fu it's a fun thing to collab with one person, two people, three people, or even like four people. But when you 
are a part of like this massive project, like if you're dubbing like a whole movie, and you just are part of this huge like assembly of voice actors all like playing different roles, to be part of that like, to be part of such a huge like group of, of talented people is, it's such a uniquely awesome experience. Recently I did a full fan dub of Shrek, and my god, it's just so much fun to work on this and have such talented voice actors and actresses hand in their lines and just like having to sync it all up with the original movie and you know it, it, it's just it's just fun it's a lot of hard work like a lot of hard work but you know the end product it really makes it all worthwhile it's just a, a good opportunity to work with talented voice actors and and really hone in your editing skills. And I'm so thankful to have this opportunity to be a part of any project. Because once you send in your lines and once the, uh, the people who are in charge of the full fan dubs are done editing and putting in the lines and we watch all the premieres, it's so satisfying to see how our hard work and their hard work comes out like the last, um, what's the word, the last, uh, well, once the project is finished, it once it's finished and you see it, you you just tell yourself, "Oh my, was that really me?" Because it's it's so satisfying to be part of a full fandom. Knowing somebody put in all the work to make it sound as good as it does is incredible. It's it's incredible. So when you take into account the combined efforts of the person organizing the project and all the people who have been like scooped up to you know be part of it and make the project happen like full dubs are really the biggest testament to how collaborative this community can be when everyone just comes together to make big projects like this happen it's pretty inspiring when you think. it is the most special version because that's me and my friends up there providing the voices and just having a good time also while having great editing and, you know, just special heart put into the project. I'm very grateful to have been a part of that. And I'm also really grateful to have been a part of other people's projects. Frozen 2 was a highlight for me. Anna is one of my other favorite dream roles. Um, I loved being in the Prince of Egypt one that I believe was Joe who did that. And many, many others, but it was just so fun to be a part of all these things. It's a really fun part of the community. You know, and... I think if you really work at it, by the end, you'll be really surprised on how well the end product will be. I did not expect Shrek to turn out so well, but it did. I love it, and I love everybody who worked on it, and I can't wait to bring Monsters, Inc. to life. So yeah, look out for that, and that's my take on the full fan dub community. Especially from directing two of my projects. It when you're making them, all you really want to do is just show them off and show how much people really put time and effort into their stuff. It's, it, <laughs> it's really, like, it's just, it's such a great feeling. And then the great thing is you have that to look back on down the line in case the ride comes to an end, which someday for some of us it will, all these full fan dubs, because time slips away from all of us but it's just great to have this back and realize how much fun you've had working on your own personal little projects
I'm just so happy to be part of all these. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. <laughs>